Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Daily Dose of the Spiritual Vitamin. Let me Bonnie be. Now, it's very early in the morning, and this morning the Spirit woke me up with lack of knowledge. My people perish for lack of knowledge. Lack of knowledge. It's my topic today. Lack of knowledge. Lack of knowledge covers a vast field of things. Lack of knowledge, when the Bible speaks of it, is the lack of knowing your endings, your futures, and God's plan for you. We lack that knowledge. So often we find ourselves out here chasing other people's dreams. We are out here and we are seeking to graduate our levels and move to higher dimensional levels. But we have not learned how to graduate to lower levels. And going through the circumstances and situations in which we go through in our everyday lives, there are lessons that we are supposed to get. A lot of us don't get them. A lot of us continue in these cycles. But when you find yourself at a point where you no longer want what you have, and you find yourself at a point of feeling like, I deserve better, And there's more for me than what I have. This is the opening of your awakening. This is the beginning process for, I know God has a better plan for me. So often, you know, we're so quick to throw stones at other people, especially the readers and people who are in the spiritual community. But we fail to understand several things about ourselves and throwing these stones and the spiritualist. The first thing we fail to understand is that we've been programmed. Well, you are, not me. I'm not programmed anymore. But the programming. The programming is what gets you up in the morning and makes you go to work. The programming is what makes you go buy that new fancy car that you know you don't need. That programming is what makes you live outside your means and your lifestyle programming. When we look at the fact that in reality everything around us is dark matter except for us. We are the true and pure light source in any given situation. Because all of this is the imagination of the all is mind. The mother mind and the father mind are our creators. For in all things there must be balance. Now, so often we are quick to, you know, holler their devil worshippers and things like that without fully understanding what the things are that they are up against as well as ourselves. And we begin to understand that karma has a place in all of our life. When we do shit against other people, when we think negative thoughts, when we behave in manners that create hardships for other people, we bring karma to ourselves. When we fail to understand that This is just the school of lessons. This is not your final destination. This is a destination that you come to. To pass into. Where you're supposed to go. We do life readings. We do studies. And we do all of these things to get this information. Because earth is the planet of schooling. We all come from higher dimensional energies. When you understand that a star seed is a soul journey, it is not a journey for 
you'd probably pick up and readily understand as the human aspect of yourself. But the starseed journey, that thing that, that starseed, that, that breath of life within you, that God has placed there, that's the journey who we read for. It is your higher levels and your lower levels. And you know where you fit in because in your birth charts, you have an MC and an NC. The MC is your South Node energies. Most of us, for the most part, in our South Node energies, we operate every day. Most of us don't even know we're in the South Node energy, but we are. The low vibrational fruit that we pick and the low vibrational things that we do in the South Node are strictly for lessons. In the South Node, that's where all of your spiritual attacks take place. That's where all of the things to hold you down, they take place in the South Node. Because once you begin to elevate, it doesn't penetrate you the same way. As you begin to graduate these levels, God blesses you with favor and increase. And as he blesses you with favor and increase, he blesses you with divine wisdom and knowledge on how to utilize this increase. When we begin to open ourselves up to God's plan for our life, and we begin to trust him. See, the key to all of this is trusting God. Knowing that God has your greatest good in mind. He may allow you to go through things. That you may get that lesson. Be it a lesson of self-love. A lesson of self-worth. But there are always lessons. God is not doing this to punish you. He's doing this to teach you. And just like with our parents, here in the 3D, we go through things to learn, not to be punished. In order for us to walk in our North Node energy, we must graduate out of the South Node. There is no way to get into those North Node energies and get on your path except to go through. The bullshit that you've already laid out. There are certain times in your life where God will stop you from moving. He will stop you from moving because he needs you to reflect. He needs you to look within. Figure out the broken pieces. Because once you begin to discover the broken pieces that are within you. And God can heal that. Then he can put a new dream in you. But you understand that it is the transfiguring of the mind. It's the way that you think. It changes the whole scope. And aspects of the things that you deal with. It's the way you perceive them. We are all locked into old paradigms. We're locked into the old religious things. Because that's what we were taught from children. But that soldier who stood in the war from the days of my grandmama. Till the warrior of today. The battle has changed. It's more fierce now. See a soldier will run. A warrior will not. So God is raising up warriors. Warriors who are willing to stand for him. Who are willing to fight no matter what. See being in the place of a warrior. And the 144,000 that God has chosen. Means that you're going to go through. An extraordinary amount of witchcraft. An extraordinary amount of hatred. An extraordinary amount of. 
deceptive behaviors. Because we, as the 144,000, do not realize who we are. So God has to send you to the school of hard knocks and get you to graduation day quickly. We've had two important portals open up. We've had the Alliance Gate portal on 8-8 and we have the Twin Portal on 11-11. These two portals were there to provide you with the extra oomph that you needed to bring into your manifestations and to get you ready to walk into the new cycle of the new year. Because this season that we're in now is called the beaver season. This is the season you should be gathering. Gathering what you want for the spring to bring in. This is the time that you start planting your crops for your new visions and dreams. So that God can bless them and bring them into fruition in the spring. Spirits have cool energies. <clears throat> so we're going to pull some energies real quick. For the Octorians. I'm going to see what kind of energy the Octorian is operating under today. And see the message that God has for the Octorian. In the name of Jesus, I come before the throne of grace, Father God, to tell you thank you. I tell you thank you for all the blessings and which you bestowed upon me and the collective. Father God, we ask as the collective that you show us the divine wisdom and knowledge that's necessary for this day on the life path of the Octorian. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for clarity and understanding. We ask that you bless the energy that is necessary for this day that we may get the message that you have rightfully divinely ordained for this day for the Octorian Father God we ask that you show us clearly the message for the Octorian on this day in the name of Jesus we ask for the message of the Octorian Jesus, we ask for the message of the Octorian. Octorian star seeds. Answer the call. Overall energy. Answer the call. God is a calling on you. He needs you to answer the call. Because it's work that you should be doing, Octorians. God is making a call to you. And you hear him in the messenger of air. He wants to partner up with you. Spirit of God, Octorian, wants to partner with you. Spirit of God needs you to answer the call and get on the path. Spirit of God is calling. Spirit of God says, take action. Seven of fire. Spirit of God says that there's a fire in your belly right now that is probing you to take action. You will have victory when you go back into this energy of your emotions of the past. Somebody waiting there is an angel. The message. It's going to require you to be patient. You're going to have to be patient. Because there is a queen of fire waiting for you, queen of earth. And you two together are to do the call. God has placed the queen of fire 
in your energy, Octorian, you are the king of earth. God says that the queen of fire and the king of earth are the work together. So in your king of fire energies, king of earth energies, that grounded earth energy is going to require patience. It's going to require some patience. It's going to require some action. It's going to require some communication. And it's going to require that you open your heart up in the six of water. God has been trying to talk to you for a long time, Octavia, in the messenger of air. There's a patient energy in your environment that's going to help you take action. And it is someone from your past. Holy Spirit, I thank you for the message that you've given me for the six cards that are here. Pertaining to the call. Father God, in the name of Jesus. Why is the messenger of air here? Father God, in the name of Jesus. Why is the seven of fire here for the Octorian? Why is the seven of fire here for the Octorian? In the name of Jesus, for this life path reading. Seven of fire for the Octorian. If it is in your will, Father God, show us the seven of fire. In the name of Jesus, Father God, we come before the throne of grace for the energy the seven of fire. Seven of fire. Seven of fire for the spirit. Seven of fire. Is there any other energy necessary for the seven of fire or the spirit that we need at this time? In the name of Jesus, the six of water. Holy Spirit, any other energy for the six of water? Any other energy for the patience? Anything else for patience? Any other energy for the Queen of Fire, Holy Spirit? Anything else for the Queen of Fire, Holy Spirit? Anything else for the Queen of Fire, Holy Spirit? Anything else for the Queen of Fire in the name of Jesus? We call you now. Quite a bit on the Queen of Fire. Queen of Fire got some work for you, ass. King of Earth. Any energy on the King of Earth? Holy Spirit. King of Earth energies. Any energies from the King of Earth? King of Earth. Holy Spirit. King of Earth. Are there any other messages for the King of Earth? Anything else that the King of Earth needs to know at this time, Holy Spirit? Are there any other messages for the King of Earth? We actually come at this time in the name of Jesus. Praise God and thank you. Okay, that's it. Bottom of the deck. Passionate new beginnings. And that ace of fire. Learning new things. Curiosity. Sparking a light. To know and grow something new. Ace of fire. Now we have the messenger of air is here because of justice. Be impartial and objective. Stand up for what you believe. Try to see all sides of a situation. You will win if you position if your position is the one of integrity. So injustice. The messenger of air comes to tell you. That justice is coming to be served in a family situation. Which is the ten of pentacles. Having it all. So the messenger of air is here to let you know. That justice is coming. Justice is here. Here. 
the seven of fire is here because you want to release all your burdens in the ten of wands. A windfall of abundance, wise counsel. So this is in reverse. So you're not taking up the wise counsel that God has for you. You're not listening. You're not learning the new things that God needs you to learn. That's why it's in reverse. God needs you to look at something in a different light. And I'm sure you're probably having some issues with finances at this juncture. Because it's in reverse. So you want to let go of the wands. You realize you want to let go of all the burdens. You realize it may restrict you a little bit financially. But you got a wish in the nine of air. Uh, excuse me. Wishes come true. You have a wish. Pertaining to the lovers. This is a divine union. Embrace the love. This is true love. Embrace true love and deep, intimate love. Friendships. Make choices from the heart. Vibrant health or recovery from an illness. So there is someone in the Empress Energy who has sparked this King of Earth. It's Queen of Fire. That's your wish. And the truth is person is brilliant. They're experienced, they're humorous, they're judgmental. They're releasing situations with people that no longer serve them. And they're seeing humor in a difficult situation. They're focusing on career. This individual is going to be divorced or unmarried. Queer of Swords. This is the other person in the lover. And you want to make an offer of love in the Ace of Cup. And you're ready to take action in the Page of Fire. He's ready to go into new creativity. He's ready to learn new things. He's ready to do something different. He's ready for a brand new adventure. And that's why Seven of Fire is here. Now, the next card we have is the Six of Water. Or the Six of Cups. Someone from the past. Emotions from the past. They need to revisit it. And the reason that the Six of Waters is here is because you're doing a little stinking thinking at the moment. And you're starting to doubt certain things within yourself. But don't. The angel is here to nurture you, to make you aware that this is going to be alright. The angel is there to tell you. Don't worry about what it looks like. It's not what it is. Don't deceive yourself and convince yourself to walk away from this is what God wants from you. And this is where you are. Stinking thinking. Doubting yourself. Doubting your possibilities, doubting your capabilities, doubting who you are. Don't. Spirit of God says, 
You are enough. Spirit of God says, I'm here to help you. We can do this. Can't isn't in your vocabulary. Because can't means can, but you won't. Cannot. So, drop the knot. You can do this. Because there's a high priestess that you are interested in. A very intuitive, wise person. That you has caught your interest and has sparked the creativity within you to make you to dream again. You're the dreamer. Leap of faith. Step off. God says, dream the dream and go do it. Dream it and go do it. You can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. So we have patience here. Because in your new cycles, through the things that you have gone through, you are coming out of a situation in which it was quite turbulent. You're coming out of a situation in which there was a lot of darkness. A lot of confusion. And a lot of pain. Spirit of God is moving you into calmer waters. Spirit of God wants you to be happy. Spirit of God wants you to find your peace. Spirit of God is here to help you. That is an angel on the back. It's going to bring you into calmness. That God has for you. Trust Him. Because the partnership that you were in, you're no longer in it anymore. You have walked away from that partnership. You have moved forward. And it's calmness. But you're in your head a lot. Get out of there. The angel of God says, you have all the tools that you need within you. Don't second guess yourself. And don't go backwards. Move forward. Get on your path. Answer the call. Walk away. Spirit of God says it's time to walk away. Get out of your head. You no longer have this partnership. God says move into the water. And be patient with yourself. And understand that this was necessary in order for you to do this. In order for God to give you the blessings that he has for you, you have to move sometimes. Although it may be quite uncomfortable, you still have to move. Because in this queen of fire, God's going to bless you. Oh yeah, I'll say he is. This individual right here will give you wise counsel. There's no sneaky energy with this individual. They do work a little too hard sometimes. And have more than one project going at the same time. So they tend to juggle. But what you don't know about this individual... Is that this is a future partnership that God has ordained. This is a partnership. 
that God wants to bless and bring in generational wealth with his partner. It is not this Queen of Wands in reverse that you are getting away from. It's not this person. This King of Wands in reverse is a very hoarse person who's very in and out. This is not the energy God wants you to deal with. Why is this King of Wands in reverse, Holy Spirit? I need to know this answer. I gotta find out what the hell is going on with this. Okay, Holy Spirit, show me clearly. Why is this king of wands in reverse on the queen of fire? Why is this king of wands in the reverse on this queen of fire? In the name of Jesus. Show me the king of wands in reverse on the queen of fire. Why is it there? King of wands in reverse. Why are you here? King of Wands is in reverse because he wants to take action. There's a wish that he has. In this three-party situation. He wants to take action very quickly. Because of karma. So that's why the King of Wands is in reverse. He's moving very quickly towards the Queen of Fire. That's why he's here. And the King of Earth, he's watching this Queen of Swords. So, Octorians, answer the call. Spirit of God said, answer the call. Everything you have is within you. Everything you need is within you. You are enough. Spirit of God says keep learning, keep watching. But you have to take action. To move into calm water. And you must release the burdens. In order for God to bless you. God has been calling you for a while to answer this call. We know this because your first card out is the call. And the second card out is the messenger of air. God's calling. So, take action. And be blessed. And this is general energy for the Octorian star seed. Be blessed, my beloved. Till it's time to come and ride or die again. Be blessed. Peace from your daily dose of Bonnie B. If you like my vibe, hit the button, subscribe. Come on back. We do this shit again. Be blessed, my beloved.